Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we will be taking a look at a brand new silhouette. Really super excited to do the overview on these, but these are the Yeezy 500 High Tactical Boots in the black colorway. Let's take a quick CV. to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome in. We are still on our second wave of Yeezys released and I'm slowly but surely getting in all of the items that I picked up for the second wave. This is the Yeezy 500 High Tactical Boot. We'll go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this really sleek looking boot. And then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So I also brought out some Yeezy 500s just to kind of compare the two because clearly this 500 really gives the inspiration to the bottom portion and parts of the upper, there are slight differences, uh, especially in the material between the two. I would definitely say that this is actually lighter when it comes to weight in comparison to this Yeezy 500. Uh, the entirety of the upper is pretty much this Nubok suede, pretty high quality. One of the things I actually like uh, with this boot in comparison to this is that you can see the structure of this is thicker much harder for your toes to have some wiggle room while this is actually a thinner material it's not as padded and i feel like there's more malleability so your toes don't feel like they're so crammed in the toe box region majority of the upper is completely filled though on this uh black in this black colorway we also have this ballistic mesh for the tongue so you can feel to the touch that it's pretty hardcore and very durable so this can really withstand i feel like a lot as far as the laces go, there are just these really nice, simple, kind of matte black finished eyelets. And then we've got just black uh, spaghetti laces on there. And then you do get a secondary lace here. It does look exactly the same. So it looks like you just get an additional pair of black laces. So if something were to happen, you have that additional set. All right, so let's take a look at those details then move along to the side handling. So wrapping around to the side panels, again, you can feel that this material is very malleable to the touch. So it has a lot of bend on the side paneling, again, in that ballistic mesh. So it is pretty durable to the touch. Then we have some nubuck in between that suede. Again, just all in black tones, but they do love that they have really transitioned in between with these different materials from the ballistic mesh to the nubuck to the actual suede itself. The interior is completely covered in black, but we do have Yeezy subtly printed in a black tone. And then more of that just nice black finish on the collar of the boot itself. Wrapping around to the lateral side, we've got the same exact color scheme and material used throughout. As we work our way to the bottom, this is where you're seeing that same midsole that you see on this Yeezy 500 with the same exact Addy Preen technology printed on the bottom in black. And then we've got Adidas on the front of that midsole. 
When we work our way to the bottom, it's completely finished in a black scheme and then color scheme. And then we've got non-marking, which is kind of cool. So these will not mark up your white floors or wooden floors. All right, let's take a look at those last and final details. and fit goes for all of my easy 500s i found that going half a size up just isn't quite enough for me personally i feel like they do run on the more snug side of things and seeing images of this i could definitely tell that a majority of the back of your heel was not going to actually hit the back perfectly so there's going to be some extra space pushing up your foot so i opted actually to go with a entire full size up and I feel like these fit me perfectly. I would highly recommend at least going half the size up on these or full, just because again, you're not gonna be utilizing a majority of the back of this heel space here. All right, so as far as styling goes, again, really cool looking boot. I kind of felt like this has some Balenciaga vibes to it, especially with like the sock sneaker, um, but this definitely is an easy one to style and I'm excited to transition this into the winter time as things get cooler. Uh, but for the styling that I did for this one, a little bit more on the summer fall range of things, the first look was a maxi lace dress, all in black for a nice, simple, all black look, but a little bit more on the dressy side of things. I've been this since a boom, uh, I'll take the man of the tomb, yeah. Now they all ask what I'm doing, uh, well, you see it is soon, uh, say that they know what to do, uh, say I should listen to you, yeah. Y'all don't know what I've been doing, uh Trust me, you don't got a clue Take the top of my front door Only fiends coming through the back Got my problems, I don't want more Leave the pass up in the past The way I'm moving need a hard pass All class the second look, I wore a nice light colored denim maxi skirt with a blouse that was in black with a book bag in the night with that all black hang it up to no call back uh yeah i got time and it's all on my mind so i tell him i'ma let it out yeah and i got guap but you know i can't stop so i tell him i'ma dead it now yeah yeah i got green and i got a switch cheese but i'm looking for the cheddar now uh that shit was all bad now i'm coming to get last and this year's looking better now Tell them I'm staying right here. Uh, tell them I'm switching my gear. Yeah. Tell them I'm just getting started. Uh, tell them this year is my gear. Hey. Tell them I'm staying right here. Uh, tell them I'm switching my gear. And then for the last and final look, I decided to go with some really cool Adidas pants that have a metallic sheen to it. And then for the top, I decided just to keep it pretty simple with a black leather vest. I'm just getting started. Uh, tell them this year is my gear. Hey. Tell them that. Tell them that. Tell them that, 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 yeah. Tell them that, 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 tell them that. Hey, how long was I gone for? Pop more than some popcorn. Gotta drive, can't stop for. All the time, there's no time for it. Blowing up like lime pour. Crowd wanting that encore. Time for this, what I.
now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $300. As most of you probably saw, there were two different styles of boots that were released. This tactical boot was half of the price of the other easy boot that was released. So this is definitely a more uh, valuable price point uh, than the uh, other one. But this is going between 300 to 375 on the resale market, depending of course on what size range you are in. All right, everyone, congrats to anybody who picked this up on the second wave of Yeezys released. Uh, we will be continuing actually soon on the third wave, uh, but that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. We'll catch you on next episode.